Welcome to my new home, Doctor. No, no, no. They're not gonna think like me. They're gonna become me. Doctor, I, I did say look for the spy master. Or, or should I say spy master? Hi. Now, when I pull this handle, the enormous amount of power stored in the TARDIS will be channeled straight into Axis. What about Joe in the dark? They won't stand a chance. They will die with Axos. No! Either we destroy Axos or Axos destroys the world. Which is it to be, Brigadier? Well over maximum now. I promise to help you not sort out all your problems. Captain. Sir. Parker, Something's going wrong. They must have reversed the power flow. They're feeding it back at us. Akira! Like that, is it? Were you? That's government property. I always find that violent exercise makes me hungry. Don't you agree? Then you'd better enjoy your meal, Doctor, because it might be your last. Oh, you think so? I haven't seen the quality of my footwork yet. How many times have I told you? Violence will never get you anywhere.
What is it? One of the creatures that have been destroying the ships. You told me it was enemy agents. Why didn't you tell me the truth? If I had, would you have believed me? There's only one thing for it. We'll have to go through the minefield. Well, Tremas, mm -hmm. the new keeper has been inaugurated. Perhaps you shall have peace again. Come on, Father. You will be needed to put everything together again. Starting with my quarters. I'll join you in a minute. There's something I want to look into. Your Majesty seems in need of a doctor. Allow me to introduce Chameleon. Your work. Alas, modesty forbids such a claim. Chameleon is the tool of an earlier invader of Zeraphas, an instrumental in my escape from that benighted planet. This is your King John. Look again. Impressive. A weapon used by the invaders of Zerfas, a decoy, capable of infinite form or personality. Interesting. Well said, my demon. 
We are a complex mass of artificial neurons. And controlled by? Nothing more than simple concentration and psychokinetics. Look again. Can anyone play? Please. Quite masterly. You flatter me. I prefer bad King John. Speak, cousin. Who has done this? Sir Chameleon here is bad King John. Aided and abetted by you, his demon, and your blue engine. It's coming of you to confirm the superstitions put about by the monks. Irresistible. Your arrival here was most timely. A gift. How succinctly put. The king turns the baron solidly against him. He is killed in battle or deposed, possibly in favor of King Philip of France. He cannot therefore offer Magna Carta. What do you think of it so far? I couldn't do better myself. Thus the foundations of parliamentary democracy Will never be laid. Brilliant. You cannot be allowed to alter the course of history, even indirectly. How do you propose to stop me? I shall have to give it some thought. You haven't much time. And you haven't your compressor. I still have my wits. So do I. Soon be there. I'm finding this quite exhilarating. I wish I were. Doctor! Master! Wait here. I know this is going to be hard to believe, Doctor, but for once I mean you no harm. Like Alice, I tried to believe three impossible things before breakfast. Go on. I've been sent here by the High Council to help you. Is this man a friend of the doctor's? Anything but. Well, they're talking as if they were friends. That's what worries me. I have found the ones from the TARDIS. Excellent. I shall take the patrol and destroy them. No. Capture them alive. They must be interrogated first. You know. We also need the Time Lord to pilot the TARDIS. No. Here are your orders. Be reasonable, Doctor. I am. I listened. As you see, I'm armed. I could easily kill you if I wanted to. And not humiliate me first. Oh, that isn't your style at all. I also have a recall device that'll take me back to the conference room in the heart of the capital. So you say. I would prefer more positive proof of your credentials. One of your other selves took it from me. Do you expect me to believe the fantastic tale you've just told? Doctor, look out! Cybermen! Go back! But we can't just leave him. We can't help him either. Do as he says. We must warn the others. After you. Halt! Or you will be destroyed! Sorry, mustache. There is only one way to rebut the evidence of the Matrix, Doctor, and that is to produce witnesses who can support your version of events. Can you do that? Well, of course I can't. You know I can't. Then we must accept the Valyard's evidence. Any witnesses I might produce are scattered all over the universe and all through time. How can I find them now? Procrastination, my lady. The Doctor's only... Melanie? Glitz, what are you doing here? I was sent, wasn't I? Not my idea, mind. Same here. What have you been up to? Be silent. Who sent you? Well, now, that's the beak, is it? 
They all look the same, don't they? Carved out of something hard and nasty. You said you were sent here, Sabalon Glitz. By whom? By me, madam. Oh, no, now I really am finished. Who's that? Just one of my oldest enemies. This is entirely irregular. Who are you, sir? I'm known as the Master. And as you see, I speak to you from within the Matrix. Proof, if any be needed, that not only qualified people can enter here. But you haven't the key of Rashalon. I got a very good copy keeper, just as the doctor said was possible. This is an independent inquiry appointed by the High Council to investigate serious charges Madam, of... I know I've followed the trial with great interest and indeed amusement, but now I must intervene for the sake of justice. Justice? Pay no attention, madam. He has no concept of what justice is. He'd see me dead tomorrow. Gladly, doctor. But I'm not prepared to countenance a rival. My lady, I must propose a immediate adjournment. I'm sorry, Valyard. The evidence for the prosecution is completed. The ball, as the doctor might say, is out of your court. Good hunting. Yes. This would have been too easy. Seems we must always meet again. They do say opposites attract. But this is the end, doctor. You see it. It's a power, a power from that planet. It's growing within me. Are you frightened yet? No. You should be. You should be, it nearly beat me. Such a simple, brutal power, just the power of tooth and claw. It nearly destroyed me, a Time Lord. But I won. I controlled that force, Doctor. And now, at last, I have the power to destroy you. Welcome to my new home, Doctor. We've got What are we doing? We've got to stop. We've got to go. We can't go. Not this time. Yes, we can. Escape to what? Why don't you deliver us an animal? If we fight, we will destroy this planet. We will destroy ourselves. You should have killed me. If we fight like animals, we'll die like animals. If we fight like animals, we die like animals. Home. Did you hear that racket? Did you hear it? Flipping cat fights all hours of the day. I think you'll find things quieting down now. Huh? So you say, flipping cats. It's the owners I blame. They want the pet right, they want the animal, but do they keep it under control? Well, we try. So you say. <laughs> what is it, hypnotism? Mind control. You're grafting your thoughts inside them, is that it? Oh, that's way too easy. No, no, no. They're not gonna think like me. They're gonna become me.
equal to us. Breaking news. I'm everyone. And everyone in the world is me. I'm president. President of the United States. Look at me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Financial solution. <laughs> Deleted. <laughs> <laughs> The human race was always your favorite, Doctor. But now, there is no human race. There is only the Master Race. Graves of planet Earth are about to give birth. You know the key strategic weakness of the human race? The dead outnumber the living. Who are you? Oh, you know who I am. I'm Missy. Who's Missy? <sighs> Please try to keep up. Short for mistress. Well, couldn't very well keep calling myself the master. Now, could I? Tell you something really important. What? I have to whisper it. It was like so important to everyone on this plane that you'll get in trouble if you don't listen. Right. If it was that important, why would you tell us? Well, look at me, I'm bananas. Come on. Just a wee bit closer. Just a little closer. You know, the doctor will be really impressed if you learn my secrets. You don't smell half as bad as you think you do. There are two armed men directly behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you've got something to say, just say it. <clears throat> I'm going to kill you in a minute. I'm not even kidding. You're going to be as dead as a fish on a slab any second now, all floppy and making smells. Why would you bother killing me? I'm not even important. Oh, silly. Why does one pop a balloon? Because you're pretty. You should have a bit more confidence in yourself. OK. Sorry, I've got work to do. All right, fine. You get on. You get that finished. 
Would a countdown help you focus at all? Nope, that's OK. Ten. No, don't be scared, because I'm still in double scared. Figures. Nine. Well, no, of course you're not, because you know you're dying anyway. Eight. Humans are born dying. Your lifespans are hilarious. Please be quiet. Seven. You know, for the minute you slop out, <laughs> you're rotting, decaying, stench of you. Whew. Now we're going to get this place clean. Three. Three? I'm accelerating for dramatic effect. <gasps> oh. What's that in your pocket? There's nothing in my pocket. Oh, my giddy aunt. Quiet ones are the worst. Well, those aren't mine. Oh. Then they must be mine. <gasps> oh. Say something nice. Missy, the master, whatever you call yourself, I promise I'm much more useful to you alive. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's definitely true. That is a good point. Well made. I'm proud of you, sister. But did I mention... Banana! This ship is from Mondas. It's a Cyberman. A Mondasian Cyberman. Doctor! Doctor! Ooh, doctor! Doctor! <laughs> okay, listen to me. I may be about to take that silly little gun. He'll you. never forgive you. He'll never set you free. Not when he discovers what you did to his little friend. I haven't done anything to his silly little friend. Oh, but I'm afraid you did. A long time ago. You're brand new. Fresh out of the factory. You're not ready for a fight yet. Well, it does look a little bit ready. Bill Potts. Do you know where she is? Where is Bill Potts? Dark. Talk. You know me? You are Dark. Talk. Am I supposed to know what you're talking about? I mean, would it help you focus if I extracted some of your vital organs and made a lovely soup? You would never be so self destructive. So what? But then again, neither would I. Listen, we mean you no harm. We're just passing through. We're looking for Bill Potts, friend of mine. Bill Potts? Yes, Bill Potts. You're a Cyberman. You're part of a neural net. Can you find her? I love disguises. Do you still like disguises? Of course, they are rather necessary when you happen to be someone's former prime minister. Accessing. Locating Bill Potts. I am Bill Potts. Hello, Missy. I'm the master. I'm very worried about my future. Give us a kiss. Bill? Bill, talk to me. What have they done to you? Operation Exodus. Whatever that is. Well, wrong name for a start. I waited. This is not an exodus, is it? More of a beginning, really, isn't it? I waited. In fact, do you know what I'd call it? (sighs) 
I'd call it a genesis. You've met the X. Specifically, the genesis of the Cybermen. version. I honestly don't know what you see in him. Likewise. No! No! When I say no, you turn back around. Hey! I'm gonna be dead in a few hours, so before I go, let's have this out, you and me, once and for all. Winning? Is that what you think it's about? I'm not trying to win. I'm not doing this because I want to beat someone, or because I hate someone, or because, because I want to blame someone. It's not because it's fun. God knows it's not because it's easy. It's not even because it works, because it hardly ever does. I do what I do because it's right, because it's decent. And above all, it's kind. It's just that. Just kind. If I run away today, good people will die. If I stand and fight, some of them might live. Maybe not many, maybe not for long. Hey, you know, maybe there's no point in any of this at all, but it's the best I can do. So I'm gonna do it, and I will stand here doing it till it kills me. You're going to die too. Someday. How would that be if you thought about it? What would you die for? Who I am? It's where I stand, where I stand. It's where I fall. Stand with me. These people are terrified. Maybe we can help. See this face. Take a good, long look at it. This is the face that didn't listen to a word you just said. I know you have. And I know what you're capable of. Stand with me. That's all I've ever wanted. Me too. And now. Sorry. Just. one in every race at school. No, 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 I read your file. You're a champion sprinter. Mm. Got me. Well done. What's going on, Doc? I don't know. You best take a look out the window. How was your house out there? A bit wicked witch of the West, but you get the gist. Maybe. Maybe not. No. Oh, come on, Doctor. Catch you up. You can do it. Oh. Uh, 
that that's my name, and that is why I chose it. <sighs> so satisfying. <sighs> Doctor, I, I did say look for the spy master. Or, or should I say spy master? And he's not really old. I'm her best enemy. <laughs> Call me master. Call you what? Master. Me and her, we go way, way, way back. I met her. I know. Years ago. <laughs> but there was an old at MI6. He was talking about her. Yeah. A man very close to my heart. <laughs> well, in my pocket, actually. You want to see him? It's always good to keep a backup of one's work. Tissue compressions. Classic. Wow. <gasps> Ambushed him on his way to work for his first day. Shrunk him, took his identity, and set myself up in MI6. <laughs> Surprisingly good stuff, Bantine. <laughs> I have had <laughs> a lot of fun. Check the seat. Cockpit long. Short fuse. <laughs> I can relate to that. No! Do you really think that I would not make that sonic proof, Doctor? Come on! Deadlock sealed. And I made sure no parachutes on board. Called away before takeoff by me. Stick with me, Yaz, because I control everything. Even these guys. If you're seeing this, you've been to Gallifrey. When I said someone did that, obviously I meant I did. I had to make them pay for what I discovered. They lied to us. of Gallifrey. Everything we were told was a lie. 
We are not who we think. You or I. The whole existence of our species built on the lie of the timeless child. Been for days now. The right five planets, you barely said a word. I'm fine. Why don't you ever share anything with us? I share stuff. Not about yourself, though. <sighs> yeah, you know everything about us. And we know nothing about you. Mm. Fine. What do you want to know? Who are you, Doc? I mean, really? I was born on a planet called Gallifrey, in the constellation of Casturbrus. I'm a Time Lord. I can regenerate my body. I stole this TARDIS and I ran away. I've been traveling ever since. The Master was one of my oldest friends. We went very different ways. Questions? Now, having seen her adopted child regenerate her body, Tek Teun, the scientist and explorer, had a new landscape to explore. She dedicated her life to studying her child, detailed every fragment of genetic material. It took her years, several of the child's regenerations. Tektayun grew older. Her desire to understand became an obsession. She worked tirelessly, endlessly, furiously. She had to crack this code to understand regeneration. And finally, she did. And to prove herself right, she took the ultimate risk. Tested the theory on herself. Put her own life on the line. <laughs> Spliced into herself the genetic ability to regenerate. I didn't know any of this. Did you know any of this? Nearly there. The planet of Gallifrey evolved. Shabogans grew in knowledge and ability. They built themselves a citadel. They discovered the ability to travel through time as well as space. With Tekteun, they became a self-appointed ruling elite. And Tekteun proposed that the gene splice the ability to regenerate into future generations of citadel dwellers. It would become the genetic inheritance of them and their descendants. But he would restrict the regenerative process to a maximum of 12 times. The timeless child became the base genetic code for all Gallifreyans within the citadel. The civilization which renamed themselves with characteristic pomposity. Time Lords. Foundly had become the founder. The 
rest, as they say, is history. What happened to the child? <laughs> what? What's so funny? What happened to the child? Oh, Doctor, really? Haven't you worked this out yet? The child is you. You are the timeless child. have been. Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.